I've sold my 7000 DLE to a new owner. Good day YouTube. My name is Darren and my amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. In this video, I'm going to show you my unboxing of my Anon G2. Before we get started, click on that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notification on new videos I post. Thank you very much. I ordered this Anon about the last week of October 2023. It took approximately eight weeks to get delivered. So it came to me just like this and wrapped in cellophane. And also in the mail I received FedEx. Um, I think it's an activity a notification and also a, a custom border protection forms so it scared me because I thought it was an invoice but it's uh, just a uh, notification information and also on this tag it says here security checked and they also x-rayed it so let's take off the cellophane first So we got a couple of foam packing material. It's well packed. Let's open this first. And no, I I don't think there's any kind of guns or ammunitions in this delivery like what happened on my Anon 7000 DLE Mark 3 if you haven't seen that video I have the link above all right so all that they have here oh we got an antenna looks like a uh, a Wi-Fi antenna okay and we have a, a power cord all right here comes the Anon black face software defined radio HF and six meters Okay, wow, it's a whole lot taller than the 7000 that I currently have. Check out the size difference between the two. Here's a closer look of the back of the G2. Look closely on the front of the G2. All we have is the power button right here. In the previous model of the 7000 or 200, uh, like I have, they have an ethernet cable in the front. Now the ethernet cables and the mic input is now located in the back. So now the traditional RCA connection is no longer here. You would need an adapter, a 3.5 millimeter adapter and phono connection at the other end, phono RCA, so that you can key up an amplifier if you have an amplifier and this is where the PTT in slash out is located right here. Okay, when I say unboxing, we're going to open the G2, the top cover out. So we're using 
a T8 torque, very, very small T8, and we're going to remove the top cover. All right, let's take a tour of the G2. Coming from the rear, there's your connectors there. Here's the Anon G2 preamp. And it looks like they have some toroids already attached to some of those wires there. Coming to the front, that's the power button. There's some more toroids. And we have what looks like it's labeled TX right there. So that fan that I removed, it was connected to J53 right there. So here is the fan. There's a the manufacturer. And it spins at 2000 revolutions per minute. So if you're planning to change this fan, for our Noctua, very easy to do. This caught my eye when I was looking inside. There's a micro SD card and it, it's labeled NA. What does that mean? Possibly North America, since that's where I'm currently located and it was shipped to. This module right here is the Raspberry Pi module. And that black wire that's connected to the Wi-Fi. Here's the identification of the board that I currently have. And it's saying Saturn SDR Revision 2 underscore 1. I have a ham friend. His name is Art N4QNT. He also has a, a, a non G2. And this cable right here on the preamp, this is the mini XLR input. And what he did, he took a ferrite bead and applied it onto that cable. So that's what I will do. Okay, and it's snug. Okay guys, it is 12.04 midnight. It's now time to put back the Anon G2 together and power it up for the very first time. Okay, let's power up Thetis. Here we go. We are currently go to set up. I set up already for the Adon G2. And the current firmware is protocol 2. I'm going to turn on the audio so you can listen.
and here's some activity here on 80 meters. But I'll tell you this, uh, trying to find high voltage mic at capacitors anymore is getting difficult. As a matter of fact, I had to order some from uh, about the only ones left are old Soviet stuff. I actually had to Okay, so I'm happy for what I'm seeing here. I see that the waterfall and the the um, the spectrum uh, looks a little bit more fluid, maybe because it's a little faster. But I'm satisfied with the the purchase of the Anon G2. Dude, I am stoked and tired. Look at the time. It's going on two o'clock in the morning here on the East Coast. Well, guys, I, I hope you enjoyed my video of my unboxing of the Anon G2. And uh, tomorrow I'm going to ship off my old 7000 DLE Mark III. So congratulations, John, on your new radio. I hope you enjoy many, many years talking with Pure Signal. Thank you for watching everyone. My name is Darren. My amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. I'm off to bed so I can wake up tomorrow morning and have some coffee for a new video. 73s, have a great day.